Okay, Mr. Uh, Paul Kramer, Jr., you were on the electronic monitoring system, correct? Okay, and as part of your bail condition, you violated your bail condition by severing that uh, bracelet, and then you fled the jurisdiction. For those of you who may not be familiar with this case, Paul Kramer was convicted of attempted murder following a 2009 stabbing in Lodi. As a condition of his bail, Mr. Kramer was ordered by the court to wear an ankle monitoring bracelet. On September 22nd, Kramer cut the bracelet off and fled in his family's Chrysler PT Cruiser. Uh, shortly after him taking off from his house, the vehicle was recovered in Suffern, New York, uh, and after almost two months of evading justice, an anonymous tip led investigators to concentrate the search in Missouri. On November 4th, following an anonymous tip to our Burden Tip.com line, the Missouri State Police were contacted with the new information and were able to execute an arrest at a bus terminal outside of Springfield, Missouri. Kramer subsequently waived extradition and was brought back to the Bergen County Jail on Wednesday, November 17th. This office is already in the process of petitioning the Superior Court to seek full restitution from Kramer for the cost that this man manhunt created for all of the involved agencies. Inclusive of straight time, overtime, and search costs, that figure is in excess of $125,000. We are going to change your bail status to no bail. There will be no bail pending sentence. And we will schedule this for sentencing in January. Your sentence date will be January 6 of 2012. We will contact your attorney and advise him of the date. Okay, he's remanded back to the Burton County Jail. No bail. Thank you.